Hey, oh, and welcome, fans and viewers and other people, to Essential Collected Editions for July 2021. I'm Omnidog, joined as usual with my partner Chris, aka Webhead. Oh, Webhead, aka Chris. Okay, sorry. By the way, it's fun. <laughs> how's, it, how's it going, dude? Pretty good. How are you doing? Uh, good. I have a rare moment of uh, feeling good, so it's a good time for me to do this video. As we were talking before in the green room, we uh, talked about some fun stuff that was coming out, and you showed me your new copy of Ether, which you were excited about. Yeah, I got mine also right here. It didn't come out in July. It's already come out, obviously. <laughs> Whenever we do videos, I like to put my new stuff behind me. Oh, nice. Off. I can't. I can't. You can't see half of them. There, there's my Madman. Oh, one. nice. That thing is thick. It is. There's going to be six of them in total. I am scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's so that good. It's going to be so much money. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. It, I've been reading it today, and it is so much fun. It looks, it, it's kind of goofy, right? Yeah. Like, it looks like fun. That's it why is, I was like, all right. It, they said Freakazoid was sort of like loosely based on it. So I was like, all right. I like his art and it sounds silly. So yeah. Give it a shot. It's Twisted Madcap Adventures of a Superhero. And it's, it's not for everyone, but people that have, you know, the, the people that are into it, like me know that it's just really fun and i love his art and his sense of humor is great so i love I like it. stupid things so if it's like silly dumb humor i'll, I'll laugh at it because i'm stupid too <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I don't want to say it's stupid humor um and and i'm not gonna say you're stupid but i, I it's it's actually kind of philosophical in places which grounds it really nicely um but yeah i would I would say it's more madcap than than silly. So okay. you you read it and you tell me what you think. I will do that. Good. And I want to know what you think about Ether too. That one I'm looking forward to. Yeah. And this episode is brought to you by my sponsor, dyingbreedcollectors.com. And he's just texting me. <laughs> right now, <laughs> very timely. Uh, let me see if he wants to do it right now. Right now for the month. Uh, we'll find out. But dyingbreedcollectors.com is my sponsor. Uh, he's getting a bigger and better selection every day. Uh, very good at answering emails and customer service. The packaging is fantastic. He is a, a real comic fan, so he's going to send you your books the way he wants them to be delivered. Um, so, uh, no, this code is not going to be um, good for the month. He wants to do it for a week, so it doesn't count for this. So, anyway, dyingbreedcollectors.com. Uh, go there. I... I spaced it out so it's easy to read, but it's all one word dot com. Um, so go there and um, check it out. And the selection is getting better and better and prices are competitive. And he will uh, get back to you immediately on your emails. So dyingbreedcollectors.com. Uh, let me tell him the, that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to, um, uh, I'm doing a show right now, period. <laughs> Let me text you back. I'm doing it live. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it live. <laughs> a month would be good. Let's see if I can grab a 10% dis discount out of them. That's uh, a good one. How about now? I'm doing 
my collected for July. You can see that we're both working together by the seat of our pants. Maybe, um, you know what? No, uh, now I'm doing my collection for July. Okay, I just got 10% out of them. And let's change the code now. That's not the code. Get out of there. Okay. <clears throat> Independent dog. For 10% off, Ten percent off, Dark Horse and IDW. All month, the month of July, at DyingBreedCollectors.com. The code is. Uh, I didn't. Did I not save it? Oh, son of a. <laughs> uh, okay, so the code is Independent Dog. In the pen, then I have to spell it twice now. That works the worst. Independent dog. There we go. Dimebridgecollective.com. Yeah. Independent dog. <laughs> Independent dog. Get you ten percent off IDW and Dark Horse books. Uh, so that will be for the month of July at DyingBreedCollectors.com. Pendant. Uh, I don't want to. This is the code: Independent Dog. Ten percent off Dark Horse and IDW books at dyingbreedcollectors.com. And now that we're like 20 minutes into the video, we can get going and tell people what we want to read. And with two caveats for the month of July, uh, these are the books that we think are interesting. So your favorite book may not be up here. That doesn't mean it's not good. It's just the ones we think will appeal to the most people. And Chris does his best at comicreleases.com to get the most updated videos, I'm sorry, the most updated uh, release dates and book releases as he can. They are very fluid. Um, very they fluid. get pushed back, but as of right now, these are the books that um, we are pretty sure are going to be released in July. Does that sound right? Yeah. I mean, even as I was going through these, they changed so much. They'll probably be in July, but there's some that, like, every few weeks, they'll just keep shifting and shifting and shifting. So <sighs> a lot of them, I think it's because Marvel has approximately a billion books coming out. So <laughs> they're like, oh, got to stuff some more in. Move this one over. Put two more here. Like, a bunch of and them from early July got moved to the 28th. So it was just, like, stuff everywhere. I just got another note. It's all independent titles, so independent publishers. Oh, so um, like Dark Boom. Boom. Yeah. Whoever else. Maybe Valiant. All one of <laughs> their books. We have a, a Valiant uh, book <laughs> that we're going to talk about. Let's start with... Let's see if I can share this properly. Yada -dee, yada -da. Do -do -do, and there we go. First one is Justice League America Bronze Age Volume 3. So good for DC to continue on with um, on with this these. Is, uh, what is the Bronze Age stuff? I guess it's just... Um, if this is Volume 3... I would assume this is going to be the, um, is it the early 80s? Let's see. 
Now I'm curious. I'm guessing oh, 77 is where it starts. 77, okay. okay. All right. So DC puts out an omnibus. That's a good sign. Uh, Bronze Age, Justice League of America. And is that it for DC for that week? This is the first week. I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this is the first week of July, July 7th. Then we have an epic collection, Captain America, Dawn's Early Light, for you epic collectors out there. And that's a reprint, I believe. Okay. And Middle West. Great, great book in huge oversized uh, uh, edition. I'm in my head right now. The reason I'm pausing is because I have the trades. <laughs> I'm trying to decide. I loved this book. It was not was one of my books of the year in 2020. This is such a good book by Scotty Young, and the art is great by Jorge Corona. I urge any of you who haven't read this to get this deluxe edition. It's going to be great. You're going to end up suckering me into this one too, aren't you? I, You will love this. You're Chris. not the first person to mention it, actually. I've been kind of on the fence. Okay, I'm pushing you way over. I'm <laughs> tackling you on top of the fence and pushing you over. You really <laughs> need to read this. Uh, Savage Sword of Conan, volume... 800? How many of these are there now? <laughs> I swear to God, every month there's at least one Conan book. Uh, every single month. Six or something. <laughs> They're like, we got the Conan license, let's literally print everything that has ever existed as quickly as possible. <laughs> uh, let me go to that site, comicreleases.com and see if they can tell me what volume this is. Oh, it's five. Number five, okay. Savage Sword of Conan, uh, number five. Okay. 61 through 72. This is the book, I believe, that's all black and white. Right. It should be, and it should be... And it's the more... Yeah. Violent. <laughs> violent and sex. Not as yeah. friendly as the normal Marvel ones. Right. It came out in, like, magazine size. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars, The Old Republic, Legends, Omni, comes in two covers. And they changed the covers recently, and I don't remember if Previews has the updated one or not, but okay, FYI. But these were the two that I found, and this is the first week of July, July 7th, that these are coming out. And this is the last book for the week of July 7th, Wolverine, Blood and Claws. For you epic collectors, uh, Larry Hama. So, you know, he's a good writer. Uh, and I don't generally collect epics, so I don't know where this falls. But for those of you who love epics, this is probably going to be a good addition to your collection. And that's the last one for the week of July 7th. Then we go into the week of July 14th. And this is a deluxe edition of Injustice Year Zero. So I I know the Omnis are out, and so I guess they're redoing them in deluxe form now. No, I think this is a new thing. Okay, but it's by Tom Taylor. Tell me about this then. This Year is why Zero. I remember seeing it. This is a new book that came out in 2020. So August 2020 to January 2021. Oh, all right. So this is I'm new. Guessing it's a, yeah, it's a prequel to Injustice. All right, because it's Injustice Year 1 and 2. Yeah, that was the first Omni. Right. One through Tom um, Taylor wrote. Two. Yeah, and then the second Omni was like 3, 4, and 5, because I think 5 was shorter. Okay, uh, so this is year zero. I need to pick this up. Yeah, I'm just realizing I might need to pick this up too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, dang it, I don't have enough books. That's yeah. That's why this sh this show really should only be like ten minutes long. But we, <laughs> we're sitting here trying to figure out if we're going to buy it or not. And oh, see, that's why I was confused. There's also a ground zero. 
So that's in it, or that's a separate book. That one's in the uh, Omni Volume Two. Ah, uh, okay. But Taylor is the good writer, so I'm hoping that's good stuff. Oh yeah, I haven't read anything yet by him that I didn't like. He is good. Yeah, really good. Okay, so I got to get this, and I got to get this. Green Lantern Season 2 Ultra War. <laughs> that is Season 2 Hardcover Volume 2. Okay. Thank you. Which I believe is the end of Morrison's run. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm always mistaken, so you have to be right. <sighs> You have to carry the possible, but I wouldn't hang on that. <laughs> uh, this is book two, hardcover of Oblivion, Oblivion Song by uh, Robert Kirkman. And then we have um, National Anthem, True Life of the Fabulous Killjoys. This is the deluxe version, and here's like the super mega deluxe version. Slipcase edition, I believe, is the big difference. Okay, I remember really, really enjoying the first uh, Fabulous Killjoys. So yeah, I'm true lives of the kind of Fabulous Killjoys, just the regular one. Pretty sure I pre-ordered this because I just buy everything. So <laughs> yeah, and this is the Ultimates by Al Ewing, complete collection. I really would love to see this get a hardcover. They might tempt me into buying a complete collection, though, because the series looks really cool. I've heard nothing but good things about this. Yeah, because this, I believe, includes, yeah, Ultimates and Ultimates 2. Okay. So it's the whole the whole thing. And that's Not to be confused with Ultimate Universe Ultimates. This is a different deal. As you can obviously see from the cover. <laughs> I haven't read this. I read the first Ultimates, but I haven't read this yet. Yeah, the Mark Millar one. The one that's yeah, yeah. violence and <laughs> violence and rock and roll. Yeah. Categorize that as. Uh, so that's it for the week of July 14th. We go to July 21st. I, I found two uh, covers yeah. for this. I think they changed it like mid-flight. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be the first appearances of the various characters in the movie. For those of you uh, who are going to see the movie, like me, of course, because it has Harley Quinn in it. And, oh, there we go. This is the long-awaited second hardcover of Big, Big Hard Sex Criminals, Volume 2. It's been like five years. Wait, no, that's got to be book three. Three. I, yeah, because I see two on my shelf. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute. <laughs> we, we actually do know what we're talking about. <laughs> but sometimes, uh, sometimes... Sometimes you just need a second. Yeah. Sometimes you need I time need... to process. Yeah, so this is book three. And I think this is the final book. It's certainly taken a long time. I know I pre-ordered this. Um, so, wait, we're in the week of July 21st. Yeah. Epic Doctor Strange, Masters of the Mystic Arts, Lee and Ditko. So it's the early stuff. And I believe this is also a reprint. Okay. Um, and there will be two covers for this for you Marvel Masterworks fans. This is Captain America Duel in Darkness with Daredevil on the cover. That looks good. I'm sure Masterworks fans are excited about that. It comes out in another um, two weeks. Two weeks. We're in July 21st. So this also has a different cover, which I did not picture. But it's just a version of this. Generation X, back to school epic collection. I'm getting this. I love Generation X. Um, and it came highly recommended by the Uncanny Omar, 
whom I gave that nickname to. I want it on the record. But I gave him that nickname. Okay. Anyway, everybody should get this. So you're saying that Omar recommended an X-Men book. <laughs> Shocking, right? <laughs> He'll tell me, though, if it's not a good book. He'll be honest <laughs> with me. He'll say, I'm getting I have it. seen him even with those a couple times. I laughed because I remember he... He was reviewing that Hulk Dogs of War, and he's like, the contents of the book are, <laughs> you know, just that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll tell me if I shouldn't get it, and he said I should get this one. So 90% of the time he's messing with me, but 10% he tells the truth, and he said this was a good one. So definitely people think about getting this. Uh, this is volume 13 of the Turtles, TMNT oh, Turtles. I think this is the last one in this series. Does it go up to volume? I'm so, uh, issue 100. Oh, it, it goes past. I actually had, I, I got a copy of 100. Oh, so this <laughs> is not the last book in the collection. No, this current series is the longest running turtle series. Well, it's actually I, uh, outdone now the original. I love these books. Tyler and I are doing TMNT Tuesdays for the week of sorry, for the month of July. Um, and we're going to be reviewing volume 9 uh 9 10 11 and 12 this month. So maybe yeah, we they're up to 120 it looks like. Oh, I thought this thing stopped at 100. Okay. This book stops at 100. Okay. The that series itself is still all the way past. So this okay. won't be like the last one or anything. This is where I'm another. Stopping. Yeah. I'm stopping with this book. I love it, but I, I mean, I got to stop at some point. Do you, Jeff? Yes. Yeah, stop. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't even. Do you? <laughs> this is a book that dyingbreedcollectors.com will have 10% off in the month of July. The code is independent dog. So I got that quick IDW book. Dying.com. <clears throat> and that is what we're still in July 21st, the week of. Mm -hmm. Fantastic Four reprint volume two. Mm -hmm. Um if you're wanting to dip your toes into Silver Age, personally, I think this is one of the better places to do it. I agree. I mean, you want version, you want Volume One too, but Silver Age Fantastic Four is surprisingly good. Mm-hmm. Much better than Silver Age X Men, even though that's getting a reprint. <laughs> when they announced that, everyone was so mad. <laughs> They're like, "Come on, what? Oh, uh, why? Every hasn't everybody been wanting that X Men?" I feel like collectors want that because if you read it, you'd be like, oh, <laughs> this isn't good. Oh, okay. Um, and so those are the two covers, classic and a modern one. And this is still the week of July 21st? No, next week now. Now we're in the week of July 28th. Yes. Batman, The Max, Arkham Dreams. I haven't read Max yet. It's highly recommended to me. I have uh, I have three books. Four, no, three books. The Max, Maxed Out, and I do need to read them. I want to get this because this is supposed to be a really good book, but I have not read it. It's a great cover. This is the one that's drawn by uh, what the hell's is it drawn by Sam Keith or somebody else? There we go. I think it is, isn't it? Max is his creation. I mean, look at the ears on Batman; those are crazy. Look at that jaw. That thing's like nine miles long. I know. He's got like a Jay Leno chin. <laughs> um, July week of July twenty eighth. This is Bizarro. I have this, and it was a fun book. I. I think this is for niche. This is for people like me who like DC weirdness. This is by a bunch of different creators with their take on Bizarro. 
with a great cover by Matt Grain Grainig. Is that how you say it? I've never known how to say his name. I always uh, say Groaning. Yeah, I'm giving it a shot. The creator of The Simpsons and <laughs> that guy uh, that made The Simpsons. Yeah, and the the bunny with the one ear. I can't think of the name of that. Have you ever seen that? That's where he started out. Oh, oh no, no. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I have no idea what it's called either. Somebody will correct me in the in the comments. Somebody else, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's fine. You can tell me what it is. I, it's got an odd name. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man. The Michelini McFarland stuff. This is a great... I liked this stuff. Oh, yeah. Reprint that one. Yeah, that's a great cover. And here's the other cover. The McFarland Michelini stuff. This got me back into Spider-Man after a long hiatus. Um, so I may be sort of romanticizing it, but I remember really liking these comics. These I'm betting were... Are they on like the other side of the Clone Saga or were they before the Clone Saga? They're before the Clone Saga. That's why. I yeah, that dropped sense. out when the Clone Saga happened. Yeah, so this was before it. Okay. Although he did have two runs, Michelini, because there's another omnibus that's Michelini and someone else. Eric Larson? Yes, that one. Okay. That's the other Omni. But this one is a reprint with a new cover because the 300 cover is a new thing. Yeah, that's, that's a great uh, cover right there. We're still on July 28th. And we have a couple covers for Captain America by Dan Jurgens Omnibus. There they are. I've never read I'll it. Be honest. I'm Can't. still going to get these, but these covers are kind of weird looking. <laughs> is it just me? Or just This one, I like the colors and the shading and stuff, but it it the logo is sort of weird. No, I'm with you on that. But Jurgens is great in general, and that's why I'm going to buy this. Ah, uh, okay. You may be FOMOing me into it. We'll see. I don't know how his run of Cap is, but I know his run on Thor is fantastic. Hmm. Okay. Now, this is what I like. Captain America and Falcon. I think this is book two. Old guy stuff. Yeah, and I'm an old guy. This comes with two covers, I think. Yeah. I don't not into this cover, but I love this cover. This is back when I was reading that book, and he becomes Nomad or somebody. Oh, is that where that is? Yeah, in this volume. And Epic Collection, The Curse of the Golden Skull, Conan. For the Epic Collectors... Uh, this is a Heroes Unbound book, the Fantastic Four. Heroes Return. Oh, Heroes Return. Okay. I don't know a thing about this period in comic at all. So Zero knowledge. No, I know about it. I've never had any any desire to read Heroes Reborn <laughs> or Onslaught for that matter because they're yeah, both garbage. You guys are on your own on this one. I I yeah. can't. I can't guide so, you either way. I know they, nothing. They did Onslaught, and then they did the Heroes Reborn universe where... And then half the people left. They started shifting everything around. And then, all right, they just canceled Heroes Reborn, and boom. Then they had Heroes Return. And that's when everything got, like, new writers and kind of put back on track again. So, like, Jurgen's Thor was part of Heroes Return. Some Fantastic Four, I have no idea who was writing it then. I don't know if it says here. Who's yeah, writer? you can tell we're sort of clueless on this book. Somebody I've never heard of, John Francis Moore. But like Iron Man, Fantastic Four, Cap, you know, Avengers, like all those things kind of got redone. Okay. After Heroes Reborn, they got Heroes Return, and they started off again. So that's when you got like the um, that run of Avengers with Busiek and oh, um, yeah. okay. Jurgen's Thor, which were both. Yeah. And I think Wade Cap was was part of that too. Oh, okay. I have that book. I I love Mark Wade and his writing. So it was actually kind of a good period because they came out of the just blech. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, so there's this book. Here it is. Uh, and this is like a tribute book, gallery size edition. Um, two giant size X Men. Uh, it's for the hardcore collector. It's a big giant gallery edition. Yeah, that's those like mega huge ones, like the. How big are these things? Yeah, it's got the original story in it, I think, and for Giant Size X Men, and then I think it has several creators doing other things in this. Are you? Oh, there on, we go. Are you on it's your like site? Thirteen and a half inches high. What's that? <laughs> thirteen and a half inches high. And roughly. do you know what? Uh, who some of the creators are in it? Uh, Len Wein, Dave Cockrum. Alex Ross does that cover. Kevin Nowlin. Chris Samney. Hmm. He must have done some tribute stuff in there. Yeah, I think it's all a big tribute. The original story is by Len Wein and Dave Cockrum. And that's included in that. Uh, for the hardcore collector. And, of course, this is the stuff that I like. Golden Age cap. This is super old dude stuff. These are older than you are. Oh, yeah. This was classic stuff when I was a kid. So <laughs> this is for the way hardcore collector. I, uh, I, I don't know. I love Golden Age Captain America, but I don't know. I've read some Golden Age stuff before, and it is rough. <laughs> yeah, this isn't for everybody, but it might be for me. <laughs> you got to really want it. Yeah. That is a very cool cover, though. I, I think really so, like too. That. Either one of these, I think, are boss, but I do like that. This would be one. like a really neat poster to have. Yeah. I don't want to buy that omnibus, but I want that, that cover. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the Valiant book. The. Without many books. <laughs> the Valiant book. <laughs> the Valiant book of the month, Live Wire. I know nothing about her, but I'm still buying Valiant because I'm going to read that universe. Uh, hopefully before I die. So um, this is, uh, I know nothing about Livewire either, but here's Valiant's book for there the, month, it is. the yeah. deluxe edition number one. Is that it? <laughs> that looks you like a forgotten one. Uh, There's one I... more Wolverine Omnibus volume two. Oh, where is that? Volume two. I thought I loaded that. Damn it. I okay. I wait a minute. I'm sure I loaded that. This one has three covers too. Three covers, yeah. Well, kill me. Let me see if I can grab it real quick. Because I that's weird because it was this is more the polished professionalism that you come this channel for. That's why we're here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me grab at least one cover. Because there's three. One's that really crazy looking Barry Windsor Smith cover. Yeah. Ooh, my favorite is the Jim Lee one, the second one. One where he's leaping. Looks psychotic. There's that one. That one's cool too. Okay, so Wolverine Volume Two is the last one. Did I forget anything else? I don't think so. I don't. Uh, I don't know what these other ones are. So, <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't recognize them either. So I I left them out. Okay, so you can get your independent books at dyingbreedcollectors.com. It's all one word, dyingbreedcollectors.com. Independent books for the month of July are 10% off with the code independent dog. All independent books, independent publishers, IDW, uh, Image, Valiant maybe. I don't know that he's collecting, if he's carrying Valiant. But that is an excellent question. Let's see. IDW, Dark Horse, 
and all independent ones. Our independent dog is the code 10% off dyingbreedcollectors.com. Thank you to Dying Breed Collectors for sponsoring this. Thank you to Chris for helping me out. And why don't you plug your fantastic website? Uh, yeah, I run comicreleases.com. Um, basically, it's just a really good reference point to find out what's coming out when and all this stuff. Pretty much the entire time we're talking, I'm clicking around on my own website to help him. <laughs> so it's just really great. You just have all the info there right at your fingertips. And um, yeah, the main idea is just a site I built kind of for myself to just keep track of stuff. So you can see when the book's coming out. I track all the variant covers, what's in the book, you know, the contents, all that kind of stuff. And then <clears throat> something people may not notice at first, if you click on the title, it opens up a little thing underneath. You'll have links to previews or, or Lunar, uh, the book publishers, links to buy it at all the various places like Amazon, IST, Organic Price Books, blah, blah, blah. Just all for like convenience and stuff, so... I put that stuff all there just, you know, if a release, if like a release date on a book changes, you click the previews link and go, oh, it's different than what he has, but it's there as a reference, you know? So, like, yeah. keep people informed. And comicreleases.com is where I go all the time to find out what's coming up. It is a great site. So, I have that in the description. I have a little link for it. As well, I have a little link for Dying Breed Collectors and my Instagram that I need to update because I wasn't feeling well last week and nothing got posted, but I'm okay right now. So I'm going to hurry up and post about a thousand things on Instagram. Which is all totally the things. not the way you're supposed to do it, but <laughs> just ram it all through. Yeah. I just have to do it while I'm feeling well. So thank you, uh, Chris. And thank you to the audience for watching. This has been our uh, essential collected editions for the month of july and we hope you enjoyed it so peace and love peace and love thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again next month